We've met the execs at Classic Industries before. Now we're going to meet the rest of their staff in a whole new role. You know, every company, large or small, is faced with the challenge of motivating their employees. How they choose to do that can vary from company to company. So when I heard Classic Industries was going to do a build and use nothing but volunteers from their own staff, I thought, that's something we have to see. Hey, guys. Hey, Dan. How are you doing? I'm good. My name is uh, Jeff Leonard, and I'm the CEO of Classic Industries. We're going to come up with a brand new vehicle here, all new. New cab, new chassis. All out of here. We're going to open this book and we're going to get everything we need and build this truck right out of there. We've got an extensive uh, you know, collection of parts here, so it makes it easy for us to get cars and put them together. Is the truck that this is replacing here? Yes. Is it? Can we see it? Sure. Yeah. Great. Why don't you guys take a look? Okay, okay. let's go. We have a delivery truck that we use for local deliveries. Uh, that's rather beat up at this point. The driver's unhappy with it. And we thought, well, we're, we need to do a truck. We want to do a truck of some kind. And so we decided to do a replication of an original sort of 53 uh, Chevy pickup delivery truck. It's actually, it's pretty good. The webbing's still here. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a good little truck. Let's, uh, let's get it over the tech center. All right, let's get it over the tech center. Keith? I, I agree. You want to start it up? Uh, Keith, you want to start it? You know, I gotta say, you've got some really patient customers if they're willing to push start this truck every time Keith makes a delivery. Well, we got good parts. Put it in reverse. Hit it. Is it in reverse? Are you sure? <laughs> Hit it. Third time's a charm. Yeah, I'd say another truck is probably a good idea. All we need is a place to build it. We decided this year to uh, actually build our own tech center so that we could not only uh, build the, the vehicle in-house, but also uh, utilize some of the talent that we have here that works at Classic Industries to put the, car, uh, the vehicle together. Mark, you said you wanted some help. Aaron from Benpack. My name is uh, Aaron Almond. I work for Benpack and Ranger. When we put it together, we uh, took the lift out of its packaging, laid all the parts out, bolted everything together, dropped the cables and hoses in, stood the post up, lined it up, drilled the holes in the concrete, and dropped the top trough on. Okay, the two post is a 10,000 pound lift capacity XP10 ACX, which means it's asymmetrical, where the, uh, the posts are actually turned out to allow the car to open the doors without dinging the doors. The HD9 is the four post that we provided. It's a 9,000 pound lift capacity four post. Uh, it has adjustable runways to two positions. Ranger stepped up with some toolboxes and some jack stands and just miscellaneous shop supplies. This is an Ingersoll Rand 25 horsepower rotary screw machine. It's mounted with a 120-gallon storage tank. And to get it from, in, from zero pounds of stored pressure to final pressure, which is 150 pounds, we can get there in about 20 seconds with this machine. This is big equipment, but uh, today is kind of like toy day, too. Came in, brought in uh, several products, actually. Uh, number one, our Auto Tour Plus, the top of the line rotisserie. Uh, some new of our accessories that go along with the rotisserie, the engine hoist, engine stand and body lift, and the body car plus. I mean, honestly, from where they're going on this thing, out of the box, it's going to give them everything they need from building and finishing of the chassis, uh, installation and finish work on the body, to installation and finish of the interior. Ooh. What happened here is I gave one of my employees carte blanche to order. Uh -huh. This, this is the result of Edgar's ego. Well, isn't it ironic that we're unpacking it and not Edgar? That's right. Well, see, this is what happens not when you build a tech center, but when you try and build a garage mahal. <laughs> so have you got this bled and it's ready to go? Oh, it's all ready to go. Just adjusted all the cables, made sure everything came up level, and um, hooked up all the rest of the hydraulics and got everything basically good to go so that these guys wouldn't have any problems working on their cars. 
brought the old delivery truck in. It, it, it's a very exciting starting point for us. We're, we're, we're moving. We now have a functional shop, and now we're going to start on the project. And uh, everyone is very looking forward to uh, getting started and getting into this project. We may not have actually begun to build the 53 pickup yet, but things are already starting to look up.